come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still and we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of portland bill it was a lovely sunny seaside day so i decided to take dogger to the mainland for a walk but as soon as we got at McGilly Cuddy, he ran off. Papa! Hey, Dogger, come back here, I yelled. We're going for a walk. We're not going to the shop today. <laughs> but I was wrong. Morning, Bill, greeted Eddie Stone, the shopkeeper. I don't know, I chuckled. That dog of mine, every time we come to the village, he races to your shop. He knows where I buy the dog food, all right. You spoiled that dog. All the chucky drops you buy him. But I don't think he takes any notice of you. Well, I wasn't having that. I've taught Dogger loads of tricks. Here, I says, watch this. Dogger, go to sleep. Oh? M roll over. Ah! Uh, well, all right then, sit. <laughs> I told you, Bill, <laughs> laughed Eddie. Well, he's only interested in my sausages. Well, well, well. well, in that case, I said, We'd better get off before he gets his teeth into them. <laughs> Come on, Dogger. Let's find a stick to chase. We'd just reached the leafy lane, and we were having a good game of fetch when... Hi! Who threw that stick? Come on, own up. Oh, finished there, I said. I am sorry. I didn't see you in that hole. Ah, uh, it's all right, Bill. Didn't hurt. Uh, what's up? The tap's not working again, Bill, replied Finister. I think the pipe needs replacing. I think you're right, I said as the pipe suddenly sprang a leak. Whoops! There's another leak, and another. Oh, help! I've run out of fingers to stick in the holes. If this pipe bursts, the whole village will be without water. So I jumped in and covered as many holes as possible. But then I ran out of fingers. Oh, now what do we do? asked Finister. We're stuck. But I had an idea. Dogger, go and fetch help, I said. Go and get Eddie. Mm -hmm. up, up, up. Oh, hello, Dogger. Mm -hmm. No, no, get mm -hmm. down, boy, said Eddie. I'm busy right now. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, Mrs. Lundy. Uh, you wanted uh, two pounds of sausages, mm -hmm. didn't you? Mm -hmm. Now, as Dogger saw it, there was only one way of getting Eddie's undivided attention. Wow, wow, wow. Dogger, get down. Stop it. Hey, come back with those sausages. Come back, come back. The chase was on. Eddie jumped onto his bicycle and raced after Dogger. You haven't paid for them. Come back this instant. By the time Eddie caught up, Dogger had reached the leafy lane where Finister and I were still holding on to the water pipe. Ah, 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 Bill, puffed Eddie, putting on his policeman's hat. I have to arrest Dogger for stealing sausages. Uh, 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 what are you doing to that pipe? He asked, quickly putting on his waterboard inspector's hat. Thank goodness you've arrived, I said. This pipe's burst, and if we let go, the lane will flood and the village will be without water. Oh, hang on a minute, said Eddie, and off he went to get his tools. When we'd finished mending the pipe, Eddie remembered his sausages. You know, I said, you can't blame Dogger for taking them. Oh? I sent him to fetch you, so he had to make you follow him. Yes, but why is he eating them now, Bill? <laughs> Giggles in his stare. <laughs> I couldn't think of a good answer to that. Then Eddie spoke up. Don't worry about the sausages, Bill. He's such a clever dog, he deserves them. And I think he'd even get a bag of dog biscuits from the water board. <laughs> <laughs> clever boy, dogger. <laughs> oh, come with me to the rolling sea while the weather's calm and still. And we'll have some fun and laughter with the adventures of Portland Bill.